You might have heard about Voyager spacecrafts, but if you have not, then Voyagers 1 and 2 are our oldest and farthest instrument that are still operating far away from our solar system. Launched in 1977, both spacecrafts are still functioning after 44 years. Do you know how far away the Voyager 1 is? Or what is the purpose of launching Voyager spacecrafts? When will the Voyagers run out of power? Or did you know the computers in Voyagers 1 is 1 million times slower, yes, slower, than the smartphones of today? To find out about humans' oldest and farthest spacecraft, then watch this video until the end. Hello and welcome to Astrophy's weekly show. Today we will explore about Voyager 1 spacecraft, including their missions and progress. Voyager 1 was launched in 1977 from Cape Cavernal, Florida, and it was originally designed to conduct close-up studies of Jupiter, Saturn, and its ring. Voyager 1 was designed to last for five years, but as the mission went on with successful achievement, scientists decided Voyager 1 to send it to two outermost giant planets, Uranus and Neptune. Every 175 years, Jupiter and other planets have arranged geometric arrangement to each other with allow spacecraft to two of them for a minimum of propellant and time. Last time this happened was in the late 1970s and 1980s. This is what made Voyager's mission to four planets possible. Voyager 2 was launched on August 20th, 1977, and after a few weeks, Voyager 1 was launched on a faster, shorter trajectory on September 5th. Voyagers 1 and 2 are identical spacecraft. Each is equipped with instruments to conduct 10 different experiments. The instruments include television cameras, infra and ultraviolet sensors, megometers, plasma detectors, and cosmic ray and charged particle sensors. In addition, the spacecraft radio is used to conduct experiments. Both Voyager spacecrafts have a golden record, which carries greeting to any life form if it encounters at some point of its lifetime. The 12 inch gold pattern copper disc contains sound greetings and images from diversity of life and culture on Earth. Voyager 1 is about 22 billion kilometer, or 154 astronomical unit away from Earth. Distance between Earth and Sun is one astronomical unit, or called AU in short. The Voyager 1 travels at the speed of about 3.5 AU per year, or 390,000 miles per hour. While the distance traveled by Voyager is phenomenal, but it is only 22 light hours away from us, which means light from Earth will only take 22 hours to reach Voyager 1. Although the speed and distance traveled by Voyager 1 is huge, but in terms of light speed, it is nothing. Voyager 1 is only 22 light hours far from us. If you travel at speed of light, you will reach Voyager 1 in 22 hours. At the current speed, Voyager 1 will take about 40,000 years to travel only two light year distance. After 42,000 years from today, Voyager 1 will encounter an obscure star in the constellation Ursa Minor. Let's talk about Voyager 1 computing and communicating skills. The master clock in Voyager runs as 4 MHz, but the CPU's clock runs at only 250 kHz, which means it can process about 8,000 instructions per second. To put that in perspective, smartphones now run at 3 or more gigahertz, with 4 or more processor over 28 billion instructions per second, in comparison with 8,000 than a Voyager 1. Signal from Voyager takes about 22 hours to reach Earth and back. That means to complete communication takes roughly about 44 hours. The communication system includes a 3.7 mega high gain antenna to send and receive radio waves via 3 Deep Space Network station on the Earth. Since Voyager is far away, the signal we receive from Voyager is about 20 billion times weaker than it is needed to run a digital watch. However, NASA mentioned they had found a way to boost these signals so they can be heard loud and clear. Over the years, Voyager 1 has returned information to Earth that has revolutionized the science of planetary astronomy in helping us to resolve key questions about origin and evolution of the planet in our solar system. Voyager 1 had 10 instruments on board and as of now, only 4 of them are operational. Voyager 1 currently sends data and magnetic field, charged particles, cosmic ray, and plasma wave. It had a lot of instruments, even a camera, which was intentionally turned off by scientists to save power. A lot of people asked the Voyager's imaging camera to be turned back on. NASA has replied with, yes, we can turn on Voyager's camera, but it is not a priority. The distance where Voyager is right now is far from the sun and there's no light to shoot. We might be able to see some other stars, however, our advanced telescope on Earth can give us a better image than the Voyager's old camera. Voyager 1 is powered by plutonium and rely on radio slope thermoelectric generators, 
for their energy. Sadly, Voyager 1 is running out of fuel, and scientists predict that it will only last till the end of 2020s. However, the good news is Voyager 1 will continue traveling around our Milky Way galaxy forever. The only problem is we cannot communicate as it ran out of power, and it will continue traveling forever unless it crashes with something. We hope at some point of its journey, in the dark, it encounters another form of life and shares our diversity and culture of our Earth. Launched in 1977, September 5th will mark 44th anniversary of Voyager's making it one of the oldest and farthest pieces of human technology still in contact with Earth. If you found any value in this video, consider liking the video as it helps us to make more interesting content for you. Help us pick the new topic from the comments below and thank everyone for watching this video.